As the band skyrocketed to stardom, Garbaggio struggled with his tights and his solo career. My all-time favorite pickle is Garbaggio. You know, people just didn't understand it, man. He went a little too far with his rhyming, you know what I'm saying? He was grrr and err. He just did it wrong, you know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, the band faced artistic difficulties. Mainly, they kept kicking out their bass players. They asked me to play bass. I said, no way. You people are sour. Next! Next! They told me I stunk at bass, and I told them they stunk at everything. I mean, I thought that was the, the point, but, you know, they didn't think so. Next! Hey, thanks for seeing me. I've been working on a few riffs for this audition. You're in. Can you start tomorrow? No, I have to film my TV show. Next week? Mm, I'm doing a movie. Next month? I'm going to be back on my TV show. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Sorry. Good luck. You know, I could play bass, too. The public wanted more pickles. The band needed a follow-up to their big hit. See, they did the smart thing, though, you know? You know, they, they took a break to go write some new songs. That didn't really work, though. They released their second single, Pick It. You must pick it! No, make your pick! Yes. Okay, <laughs> two, three, four. No, no, no. What is it again? Make, make your pick. Your make pick. your pick. I'll quit it. Well, the second single was different from the first single in that the first single was good and the second single was bad. Make your pick! The song was bad, the music video even worse. I was flattered when the Pickles asked me to choreograph their video for Pick It. I mean, honestly, the music was pretty whack, you know, but it sort of inspired me to create that timeless dance, Hold the Pickle. And Pick It's all about. Every time I see the video now, I think, wow, those guys cannot dance. Well, the video was unpopular, yeah, but um, we weren't going to give up. <laughs> Critics wondered if maybe the Pickles only had one good song in them. I got the Pickles back in the studio. I was hoping to recapture the old magic. Man, was I wrong. The band had hit rock bottom, only to find a trap door that led to a new, even lower bottom. Eventually, the Pickles' journey down the road of failure had hit a dead end in a bad neighborhood with a flat tire. Against everyone's advice, Pickles released their next album. It was an awful title. Please buy this CD. It's desperate. It's catchy, don't you think? Good. On the outside, what appeared to be a no-talent band was actually a penniless no-talent band that desperately needed a comeback. I got them a gig at the Kids' Choice Awards. Huge. The Pickles at the Kids' Choice Awards was big news. News flash, the Pickles have been booked to play the Kids' Choice Awards. This could be the big comeback for the band. Appearing on the broadcast means that the Pickles will appear before millions of viewers. Let's just hope they don't mess it up. We are three minutes away from the Pickles' performance. We need their instruments now. I can't believe you locked the instruments in the car. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they? If I could just use the keys to catch the lock. Wait, you have the car keys? Yeah. Dude, use the keys to unlock the door. Brilliant. Oh, this was their time. You know, if they just had a spare set of keys, they would have done something special, I feel.
Forget the pickles. We're gonna have to go with Outcast. Let me hear you say, hey ya! Just when things looked like they couldn't get any better, things got better or, or more better. The thing is, things got even worse as Candace started burping uncontrollably. I was close with Candace during the burping phase. Don't, don't quote me on this. She was out of control. Sources say she was out of control. Open your heart. Let's do it again. Pickles Reggae, take 302. She just wouldn't stop. She couldn't stop it. Things got really bad. And so the time had come for the Pickles to call it quits. Instead, the band kept going. You know, some people can't see the artistic merit of burping a song. I'm one of those people. The Pickles songs in the key of Belch was the band's worst selling CD yet which says a lot since the other CDs barely sold any copies. Word leaked of Candace's burping problem and the press wanted facts, or at least more rumors, gossip, and outright lies. Ah. Right, I need to get serious for a minute. Candace, is it true that you're out of control with your burping? Um. Candace, you don't have to answer that. Cindy, uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of Candace and all the pickles, Candace does not have a burping problem. <laughs> What was that? I farted. Extra, extra, bread cuts the cheese. It was a disaster. Just when you thought the pickles hit rock bottom, the bottom dropped out. The pickles weren't the only ones facing failure. Garbaggio had hit rock bottom with his solo act as a heavy metal artist. Garbaggio was a wild man. He, he rocked, he rolled. He did it all, really. One day, Pick Boy arrived at band practice only to receive the final drop of his roller coaster career. Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Van Picken, dude, you played with some pick me, sweet. Good to see you. Yeah, about that Pick Boy. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're out of the band. Eddie can actually play the guitar, so we want him in the band instead of you. I'm not sure I see where this is going. We don't want you in the band anymore. All right, just give it to me straight. Bro, you're fired. Done. Gone. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, hold up. What's going on here? <laughs> You guys are kicking me out of the band? You can't fire me because I quit. I'm taking my guitar and my guitar case and I'm out of here. You guys change your mind yet? No! All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You talk about an uncomfortable day? I was wearing a pair of shoes that had some heels like this. Sometimes you have to kick people out of the band. I mean, that just happens sometimes. It's, you can't really get around it. When Pick Boy left the band, the pickles changed. But don't get me wrong, I mean, they were still awful. Would the new lineup capture the magic of the original band? Or was this two-bit rehash the final nail in the coffin?